Hello everyone and welcome to the Crafty Cauldron. I want to say first of all thank you to all of my new subscribers. Hello and welcome. Um, it's good to have you here um, and welcome back to all of my previous and existing subscribers from before. Thanks for sticking with me. I know I've been scarce recently but here's what's been going on. Uh, my back has been really messed up. I irritated my sciatic nerve on my left side and it was bad let me tell you um i am having trouble sitting sometimes still but at least i don't have to take muscle relaxers anymore and there's very little i can do for the pain because my doctors haven't cleared me to take tylenol and they've told me that ibuprofen is a no-no except for maybe once a week so i've been in a lot of pain um couple of that with the uncontrollable nosebleeds I was getting last week and all of the other existing problems from recovery from chemotherapy radiation and surgery and you have a big freaking mess so anyway I have been scarce but I have been working as much as I can I've also been drawing and working on some few a few other things I actually got out of the house because I had to go to the emergency room <laughs> So, I mean, you know, silver lining, right? But anyway, first of all, I want to, um, I want to go ahead and do this flip through. This flip through is, it, this journal was inspired by Nick the Booksmith, and I will try and remember to add all the links for everything below this video. If I don't, and you want to know about it, just comment in the, in, uh, below the video and let me know what it is that you want to know and I will reply eventually with a um, some link or something for you that you can find the information out um, through and then um, hopefully that'll solve all problems. Anyway, so this is a Reader's Digest book that I got it. Um, it is a, it's, I'm calling it the Witch's Pack Rat Journal. And the pack rat term, I picked that up from Nick the Booksmith. Please go watch her video. The pack rat video is awesome. All of her videos are awesome. She's a great lady. I love her. She's, she's really cool. Anyway, so first of all, um, we have this, this kind of, this tassel here. This is really cool. Um, it detaches. It's got some beading on it. It's got a whole bunch of textiles, cords, eyelash trim, charms, and even a little tiny broom. So it, I just try to think of things that, that someone along their journey of spirituality might attach to their, their book if they were going to pack rat spiritual things. So we've got, this is made out of bone. Uh, it's a bead, technically, but I've added all kinds of stuff. This is actually also made out of bone little goddess image a little eyeball and that is from v Victoria designs on Etsy a little charm spider web a star a seashell let's see there's a moon and then up here we've got uh, an Isis and a pentacle and a little blue leaf which kind of goes with the coloring the coloring is basically um, blue and teal and white or cream and antique white and stuff like that this um, up here at the top is a lampwork glass bead with some gold flecks in it and then some silver accent beads and I created that myself and it's on a little clip so you can clip it to the book or take it off if it gets in your way feel free it's also you can you know hang it in your car or on a mirror or wherever so onward we have a very very wide grow grain ribbon that's the one that's spelled gross grain it's pronounced grow grain grow grain ribbon and the cover is made out of some fabric that I picked up at Joann's online. Uh, it's got spider webs and it says witches spells and oh I don't know evil spirits and uh, it's it's just a little uh, kind of a collage of stuff. It's got the spider webs on it and the whole cover is is that but I've also added this batik to the to the spine and then over that I added some spiderweb lace and the lace is actually a pocket so you've got your writing board that slips in and we've got this writing board is made from chipboard and then I um, 
covered it, I glued it on, covered it, Mod Podge, painted the edges with silver, and then covered it with beeswax so it would be more durable, and then put the corners on here. So that just slides right inside of there, and it's kind of narrow, but it fits in the book really, really well, and it extends over the top, so you've got that. So there you are for that. So I'm going to open this little lady up. Inside, we have um, this page here, and on the back there's the same thing right here. Um, these are pages from an astrology book, and I just thought all those numbers and symbols looked really cool. So, I don't know if you can see that. Play pool, got to focus. I'm having um, hardware problems. My camera broke this morning. My camera tripod broke. I broke it. This is Charge of the Goddess on a piece of scroll paper. Printable. It's not a printable. It, I printed it on a piece of copy paper. So, then we have this page. All of the coffee stain paper in here is done by me. I do all my own staining and, and dyeing and stuff like that. I used a lot of stamping in this book. A lot of stamping. Um, I love my stamps. And um, I just tried to fill, fill it with things that you might just collect. You know? This page is from a book. And then in here are recipes for flying ointment, which they're just for they're curios. Braille paper and then this is from an old calendar uh, book that I got a long time ago from a place called Seventh House Publishing. And they are phenomenal. I don't know if these still exist, but if they do, you should check them out. This is a little <clears throat> fold-out thing. There's a tab on it, but it folds. <laughs> it folds out. And there's a lot of writing space in there. And this little paper clip kind of just holds that in. Here we go. And then there's a pocket here, and then he, this is a little leaf with three roses. And let me see if I can pick this up. And a, a smoky quartz. And then this has just got some little um, extra things in it, so that the fold-out has a little pocket behind it. Oh, and just so you know, there are four signatures. There's probably about 120 pages in here, not counting the flips and extra papers and stuff like that. So here's a collage page. And then this page is a, it's a page from a, a fabric, a sewing book from the 60s. A little bit of lace and stitching. I did a lot of stitching in this one too, so, oops, this thing doesn't need to be out yet. I'm going to show you that later. So here we have a little matchbook, snow, matchbook notebook and extra pieces of paper, an OM script, how to write that, and then blank pages for journaling. This is all about dragons on this part. And there's a quote here from Dorothy Parker. They sicken of the calm who know the storm. So that I thought was kind of cool. A little origami lantern and dragon pictures and little flip downs for you to journal on, little secret things. And next page we have a little picture of a witch, which I modified. It, it's a public domain image, but I modified it. And um, put little papers behind there. This is kind of a corner tuck thing with some extra little things in it. It's got a little envelope and a picture. Here it's like a painting, an old painting, and it's uh, the Witch's Sabbath, I think it's called. But it's like one of many, a lot of paintings from, from the 20s, 30s, 40s uh, were about, they had that title. So, And then on this, this is a picture I got in public domain image as well. It's a little lady with a crystal ball. And on the back, I just wrote great-grandmother Leantha Sexton. And Leantha was actually my great-great-great-grandmother's name. So I didn't make it up. That kind of is part of my history. More journaling space. And then these wonderful um, old... Oh, and I can't remember where these are from. These are tarot cards. I think they're from... I can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember to do the link down there. So, um, okay. Then we've got more pages from the book for sewing and teaches you how to tie a tie textiles here. This is velvet and rickrack that's been stitched on. Braille page here with extra paper. And this is a pocket full of all kinds of goodies. Um, they're clipped on the side with this little paper clip and then there's an organza ribbon here, but there's an envelope, a little tiny tarot card, um, a little uh, journaling card with some alchemy stuff on it and a couple of cards from a gothic 
game board, which I thought were kind of cute. So turn that page, and that's the other page, the other side of the page from the book with the um, flying ointment recipes in it. This is a journaling page, and then more stamping. This is from public domain. It's a spider anatomy. Spider anatomy, kind of neat. And then behind that, we've got an envelope and some paper. And then this is another pu public domain that I turned into a pocket. And this, as well, turned into a journaling card. I thought that was kind of neat. The page on this one is from, it's an in page from a book um, that I got in off of eBay. This is another public domain image. It's got all kinds of, I think it's about the great right. And then this is just a little um, piece of paper. This is really cute. Um, I had this flyer in my um, miscellaneous stuff for a really long time and I uh, when I started doing junk journals I was like oh it's perfect so I just printed some up and put it in my uh, in my stash in my computer and if you guys are interested in seeing that in my Etsy shop so you can print that up and use it it's from the 60s um, so I'm pretty sure that it's it's out of or in the 50s even I'm um, pretty sure it's out of uh, copyright or just barely out of copyright so this page it has a uh, little pocket this is I think it's from Halloween principles but it could be from chocolate rabbit and then a lace covered um, journaling card on parchment copy paper this brown this um, gray page is from an old scrapbook that I found at the thrift store more stamping more stitching and then a charm with a key and um, that's attached to the lace on that page this is a little tuck, and then a, a lady doing some some uh, fortune reading with a, a regular deck of cards. That's a public domain image as well. And a lot of the pages, a lot of the things you will see in this book have like black as well as brown ink, distress ink on them. And I did that so they would kind of look like the edges were burned. It kind of came out kind of neat. I liked it. A little quote card, a little envelope on this lace pouch here pages, a little cutout star, a broom stamping, a map that's been tea dyed, coffee dyed, sorry. And then behind this we've got another one of those really cool little cards and a public domain image. This is I think called uh, Witch's Sabbath again or the Witch's Spell or something. This is a lot of stamping with flourish. This is a journaling card with feathers tucked into a belly band, a little small belly band. And I thought that was kind of neat. This has got a little glass eye on it. It's just a fabric leaf. Thought it looked neat. A little card in this little glassine bag. Fortune telling. And that's another journaling spot. And then this, you can journal all over all of this. I think this map would look really, really cool with some handwriting on it. More stamping and stitching. This is a belly, double belly band. One of the parts of the belly band is made with a ribbon. And then this tucks underneath, and this is an elemental chart with references on it. And then this other belly band down here has a couple. It's got a page in it that I crumpled and inked, and it's got some correspondences in it. It's kind of neat. It's from that calendar book, uh, Day Runner thing that I got. This is just a kind of a collage page, and this black paper is from another scrapbook that I picked up at the thrift store. And you can write on this with a, uh, a white gel ink pen. This is a little journaling card in this large pocket, William Waterhouse copy uh, principle. And I found that online. This has got the black on it as well, so it looks kind of scorched. This fits right down inside of there with a little paper uh, fabric tab. On this page, we have an envelope and then another envelope. And this is by the belly band. This one has a little pocket up behind it. I didn't put anything in there. You put your own, your own stuff in there. A couple of feathers. I pick up feathers all the time and they have been sanitized. Um, this is a page that you can write on. It's actually one that I created a long time ago uh, from my personal book of shadows. And on the inside it's got some, I do did draw these tree branches and trees by hand. And then on the bottom it says, listen to the words of the great mother. And triple moon on top. I thought that was kind of appropriate. But that's blank, so you can use it to write whatever you want on there. And it just tucks behind this little, right there. So there's that. Public domain image on this is held in by this little paper clip here that I beaded up and uh, tied some ribbon onto. I love these paper clips because they really hold well. So, yeah, but 
there's this and this I left unglued so you can put that on anything and then this is a, a little journaling card and on the back it says Orbis which is Latin and I leave that to you to figure out what that means in case you don't know we'll flip here so you can journal under there and we're going to put this little clip right here and then here we've got a little fold out with a stamp and some little journaling cards here one of these is made out of a paint sample card this is a collage of kitty cats because a lot of people have cats as familiars and then i did a little cutout stamp here of a moon and stars and that's the first signature huh. it's gonna take a while guys uh envelope this is a second signature and then this is a little flip open thing and it's got like and let's see if I can get it. there we go moons in it but you can write inside of there and then this pocket has a tarot card and a journaling tag with a little pocket in it this is from a book it's got a little story on it. This is your fabric flip. This is a fabric flip. I like to put one in every book. I don't always do it, but this one was well suited. So what I did with this one was I just decorated the lace and it flips up like this and you can write in there and hide something behind it, sort of. But I also attached a, um, a very raw, long, hand-wrapped crystal and a little, this is a cat's eye bead. It's really pretty and it attaches I have, a, I have it attached with a bulb pin but you can take it off the reason why i attached it with a bulb pin was to keep it from falling out of the pocket or falling out out of the book so there's that and on this page more journaling this is about beltane and then this little old-fashioned i got this out of a book as well it's really cool it's an old style very old style tarot card back with um coffee stained paper and this is um it's got a poem on it and what Beltane is all about. So this page has, this is actually not a pocket. It's like a little belly band thing, but I thought it looked really neat with the moons and stars punched out of it. And uh, that this is a little pocket. And on that pocket, there's like a little moon with a, a witchy sweeping. And then some paper to write on and stuff. This is a book page and it's about Morgan Le Fay. And then that's the back of that page. This is a textile that I just sewed on a ruffle. Little paper clip guy here. And this is actually a little notebook. It's all decorated and collaged. Inside the front, we've got a pocket with a little torn envelope, some pages, a little tag, just pack rat things. And then the back looks like that. There's a little tarot card, tiny tarot card. And we've got a pocket here on this map page and a, another public domain image of a witch. And then this is from, um, I love this picture. It's from a um, catalog for tarot. And I decoupaged it with a tea bag so it looks kind of old and crackly. And then we've got a little tag here with an envelope on the back. And this envelope is not glue shot. So you can open it and journal inside of there and it's kind of a secret. So on this page we have, it's a triple pocket. This goes in the back or not, you can change it, doesn't matter. And yes, that's the same witch, it's just that it's not modified. This is a little journaling card here and it just opens from behind that ribbon. You can open this up and it tucks back in. And then a spider, this is from Chocolate Rabbit. It's just a little piece of paper that I tucked in there because I thought it looked neat. And you can journal on that. This is a giant card that you can journal on. And then I put Maybon on there because that is the harvest color and wheat harvest. So that tucks right in there and it's a pocket made out of lace or a tuck made out of lace. More journaling space and stamping. Corner pocket, corner tuck made from that curio flyer that I have and then a page from a Latin dictionary and that is for you to decide what the significance is and then this is another tarot card from a deck that I have okay let's keep going back of that Morgan Le Fay page and this is another pocket made out of a paint sample a little paper in there to write on it's been decorated and stuff 
And like I said, you can write on the black pages with a white gel ink pen or another light colored pen like a Moonlight or something like that. Um, textiles here, and that's just for decoration. Kind of neat. Little stamp with a witch on it. And back of the Morgan or the back of the um, forest there's a story about a forest and an apple and this is a collaged tag with stamping. Another collaged tag with nothing except for inking on the back and a bat pocket, which is from again, I think Chocolate Rabbit. So this is a little belly band that I uh, I got the idea of this from Gail Augustinelli. I will try and link her below as well. Little tarot cards in there. They stay quite well. A little um, cluster here of a leaf that peeks out of the book. It's a cloth leaf, handmade cluster. Lots of stamping on my coffee dyed paper. And this is the third signature. I'm sorry, fourth signature. I blew right past the third one. Okay. Journaling tag, collage, and stamping. And this little guy is it's a paper clip with some little jingly things on it. And this little booklet. This little booklet has um, little cards inside of it. There's a whole bunch of little cards and each card has writing space, but it also has a chant on it that you can use in ritual. And um, there we go. And there you are. So you got kind of kind of a little collection of chants there that you can you can actually use and if you want to know uh, what they sound like all you have to do is google them just google by the title on each one and then chant and it'll come up and you can hear it this is a little paper bag black paper bag that i converted into a pocket or collage there and then i've included some of these little seed pod covers these are so cool and they are all over my yard, so I picked those up. This is a little journaling tag with some what looks like scorch marks on it. And on the front is a little mushroom guide. <laughs> yes, please follow those rules. Do not eat mushrooms from the wild. An expert has to figure that out for you. But a lot of these plants here are poisonous plants and um, or used in ritual or both and or used in um, flying ointments and stuff like that. Little, uh, this page just has a little collage about what the cord is for. And then I sewed down, I stitched this down and it's just a jute trim, but I thought it looked kind of cool because it kind of matched the cord. Um, journaling page, a little calendar page with pocket. And then there's stuff in there and there's a poem behind it. Then this card, this is a really cool public domain image. I love it. She's creating a little spell there. And on the back is some coffee stained paper. Another, another piece of the printout of my um, the flyer, the curio flyer. And then this trim is really cute. It's little witches on a broom. Let me hold that up so you can see it. It's really neat. Got that off of eBay somewhere. Can't remember the store name for, to save my life. Sorry. <laughs> oh, journaling places and stamping little bottles here <coughs> excuse me there's a lot of fires burning in our area and i'm having trouble breathing sometimes especially if i talk a lot so i apologize for the coughing and stuff um, another seed pod behind a little it's a little note a, a little page book page that i fussy cut uh, all about deadly nightshade and then this is a journaling card with some skulls on it thought that was appropriate <coughs> and uh Next page is journaling spot with lines. And then this is a peekaboo card. Well, sort of. And then inside of this pocket behind the card is a little notebook for you. It's like a little tiny junk journal in there. And you can, I mean, there's lots of places to write in there. So that goes in there. And then this opens up and there's a little collage and some more writing space, more stamping little text still thing here and this is about the bowling and I couldn't find a picture of it so I just uh, drew a picture I drew a picture of it I don't know if you guys can see that yeah, let me see here if I can oh wrong way there we go kids uh, oh for heaven's sake anyway there's a picture of a bowling there I thought it looked kind of neat did it with glitter pins and there you go 
Uh, I love junk journal building because I can incorporate all kinds of my skills into it. This is a, uh, looks like marble journaling card. And this is another journaling card. It looks like a bookmark. You can use it for a bookmark for sure. Calendar page here. And then on the back of that is a new picture of a witch. Love that picture. We'll start with a circle. This is a patch and some textile velvet. And then this is a page. It was a freebie. I can't remember where from. I think it might, might have been Joke Journal Junkies. But it's a almanac page and it's got moon phases and stuff on it. I thought it was really neat. Something I would stick in my, my little pack rat book. And then this is a little teeny tiny notebook with a picture of which on the front. Lined. And then there you go. And there's a little tab here. Lace. Actually, it's trim. And more journaling space. Moon glyphs right there. And then another little um, tarot card. And this one is the moon. Kind of neat. There's the other side of this bag. And inside the bag, I just tucked a couple things. An old envelope. And then how to write sigils. There we go. And then you can use that and tuck it inside the envelope. Or, or you can use the envelope for that. Then on the back is a corner tuck that there is nothing in. I may stick something in there if something strikes me, but it's a corner tuck and it's got foxglove on it because foxglove is a um, poisonous plant. And then here's a little collage that I just, I used a feather and some leftover laces and textiles and a cluster and sewed on some trim. This is really cool. It says, it, it's got a little belly, tiny belly band that I stamped and a little piece of paper that you can write on. And then this is a public domain image, but what's really fun about it is it on the back of a wrote coven? I don't know. You decide. And this page has a journaling card. It's um, got a public domain image on it. And this, this is a really cool little deal that I learned from... Now there's a crafty idea, Eileen Watson, and she is amazing. It ties shut... And I loved, loved, loved this idea. If you guys want to know about this, you should just go look at her videos because it's really easy to make and it's so cool. It just opens right up and it's made out of tissue paper and journaling cards. I used um, craft pa uh, paper pack paper inside of here. And each one has its own little theme on it. That one, yes, it's a dragon. It's pages from a book. And then we've got skeletons and this is actually uh, some of my own artwork that I did that's from an oil painting and the bottom picture is a part of a, of a sketch that I did so and I just converted them to black and white and then we've got the um, palmistry and then all of those have have the backs you can write on so then you can just put this back in here and then on the back you will see there's this little belly band that this tag goes into and I forgot to stamp it, but I will stamp it with my name made by and then the month and year. I don't always, I don't ever put the day because generally if, you know, I'm, if, it's, if it's still in my, in my inventory, I tend to add things to it, a little surprise things to it. So there's that, but there you go. There is the witch's pack rat journal. And again, this is a pocket with a writing board on the back. And it's got that door and then on the other side it's got some crystals blue to match but I just thought that looked really cool under that lace right there being a spider web and everything and let's just put this baby back together this will be listed in my Etsy shop soon I do not know when because me listing things is just like don't hold your breath because days that I feel good enough to do it the times that I don't that I feel good enough to do it don't last very long and I apologize for that I, I I'm sorry I'm so inconsistent I used to be really really consistent and very very work oriented and right now I'm just very health oriented so I'm I'm not oh I don't feel up to it very often I'm, it's getting better it's getting better my back is getting better and my health is getting better but still it's just it's just crazy. It's crazy. So we're going to hook this back on here. If you are interested in this before it gets listed in my Etsy store, please contact me at the email below this video. Uh, Red Ravens Cauldron. It's red underscore Ravens underscore Cauldron at 
live.com. And my Etsy store is the same name. It's Red Raven's Cauldron. But it's AKA the Crafty Cauldron. And it says so right on the front page banner. Anyway, um, I also have a Facebook group. Um, we don't do a whole lot there because, like I said, I've been kind of scarce lately. But there are other people they post. It's for coloring and crafts. So adult coloring and crafts. So you can post lots of things, including links to your Facebook pages, links to your stores, links to your websites, links to your Etsy store. And you can put links there uh, for other people's videos, other people's places that you want to bring attention to. Articles, crafty ideas. I don't care what it is. As long as it's, you know not rude and non-violent etc just use your brain so thank you guys for being here and thank you for watching and subscribing and i just want to say you know, i couldn't do it without you guys so thank you and i will see you soon in the next video so take care everyone peace love remember it's not about the journey it's about it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. I always get that wrong. So take care of you guys. Take care, everybody. Talk to you later.